Hey guys, I want to show you something that I just discovered. I really like these Sella chocolate covered cherries and my wife just got these as an early Christmas present so obviously since I like these so much I had to tear into them and I was just getting ready to get another one of these today and as you can see I've already eaten well, a few out of there. Well, one, two, three. I already had three out of there and I didn't notice these. I was getting ready to grab one here today and I noticed this. It's it, it was like parsley unwrapped just like that and just kind of shoved in there. Now I don't know if this is done uh, by machine or by hand or what but this thing is just giant compared to let me get, try to get one on it. They're hard for me to get out. That's a normal, that's an average looking one, or just a normal one. And generally they're all exactly that same size because these come out of a mold. And look at the size of this one. First I thought somebody was playing a trick on me and they wrapped up something else, but it's, it is a chocolate covered cherry, I believe. So let's compare these two. I mean, let's do this together. I'm, I'm curious to see what what is inside this. I mean, there's three, look at it, I got one, one, two, three, four that are just very irregular. And it looks like, it looks like they've been tampered with, but I mean, this was all sealed when I got it. So I'm not really concerned about being tampered with. I'm just afraid there might be something unusual inside of this chocolate. So we're gonna open a couple of these up and see if there's anything weird. So there's a normal looking one. And then let's get let's get this really giant weird looking one. Let's get another one of these really weird ones. It just it's I don't know. It's just very unusual. It's just the way they're wrapped. I mean look at this. This is this was a good one. You can see how smooth the foil is stretched over the top and wrapped around. And these things, it really looks like they've been tampered with. And I don't know, it's it's possible, but that somebody in the family is messing around with me, but it's just my wife and I here, and it's not something that she would normally do. So this is going to be interesting. I'm really curious. So I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to show you a normal one. And let's unwrap this. And this is what a normal one looks like. And these things are so good. And this is not a review or a taste test, but my mouth is watering because... This sounds really good. Now you see, you can see, I mean, it's molded. It comes out of a mold and comes out like that. So it just seems odd to me that uh, something like this would be happening. So let's open this up. No, there is, look at that. Let's compare those two. You know what? I think I know what happened here. I think I know exactly what happened here. And I'll tell you what I think. Let's open up another one of these. This is another one that's just really oddly wrapped. Yeah, see, there's another one. And it it actually, it feels more melted. It is kind of warm. And I, I think I know what's going on. And literally, these came out of the same package. All right, let's open up. Let's open up the third one that's unusual. And even, look at that. It's... The chocolate is a different color. So this is dark chocolate, and these, these are milk chocolate. And this is what it's supposed to look like. And here's another, what uh, I'm assuming is a normal one. Yeah, see, that's milk chocolate. And you can see that's real really pristine molded that came out of a mold and those are identical and they're both that lighter colored chocolate so i don't know here's what i'm guessing i mean obviously this company whoever makes these they i'm sure they make more than one candy of course so i'm thinking they either mistakenly wrapped one of their other products wrapped it up in the foil and it got and it got shoved into the box or else one of the cherries, one of the chocolate covered cherries actually got enroved in chocolate somewhere else down the line and still got packed in here. So I'm gonna cut open a normal one, a regular one, and just show you what that is supposed to look like on the inside. 
And these, oh my gosh, are really good. If you don't like chocolate covered cherries, and this might look gross, but oh yeah, my mouth is watering. But see, it's very liquid inside. And these things are just delicious. So let's cut open, let's cut open this really big one, this really weird looking one that may contain something unusual. I have no idea. I don't know what to expect. It's got cherry in it. I don't, but it's a different. I don't know. It's a cherry. It looks like a different brand of chocolate covered cherry. Yeah, that's, I've, I'm actually, I'm actually going to taste this. Let me look inside here, make sure there's nothing funky going on here. I'm going to actually taste this and see what this tastes like. It tastes all right. It's certainly not one of those. Yeah, I know what happened here. I'm going to finish this. That is good. Mm. That's really good dark chocolate on there. Mm. So I know what happened. I got a bonus without even realizing it. So I think these, so I think these did mistakenly get put in the, the seller's package. So obviously if you're a candy company, you're going to make you're gonna make a bunch of different types of candy and probably some different brands of candy. So this is a Sella's chocolate covered cherry and that factory also makes this brand of chocolate covered cherry. I couldn't tell you what brand it is. It looks homemade, but I'm sure it's it comes out of a mold as well, but it's covered in chocolate to make it look homemade. See how it's got that rough look to it? But this is definitely a different, completely different brand, a completely different recipe of chocolate covered cherry that just ended up in the box of Sellas. But this chocolate is very, very, very rich, very dark chocolate. It's good. I still think I like the regular chocolate covered cherry better, but yeah, I was kind of concerned, kind of worried what was going to be in that. So uh, I suppose if you end up with a box of these and you get some that just look a little bit weird, I, I'm sure you could throw it away, but I think that's all that happened is this, they packaged three of the wrong brand of cherries. What brand this is, I couldn't tell you, but they're actually quite good. And I really like dark chocolate and that is some really rich dark chocolate. All right, so here's an update. Since I recorded the video about the chocolate covered cherry, my wife came home and she told me she did in fact play a fast one on me. Anyway, there's a there's a local candy maker in our area and they make really darn good chocolate covered cherries and their stuff is homemade and very irregular like that. So she wrapped them up. She wrapped a few of these up in the Sella's wrapping to see if I would notice like I wouldn't be able to notice. Come on. So yeah, that's what these are. These are the Dietz's chocolate covered cherries, which are really, really good, by the way. But they're only available in this this local area, so it's nothing like you can go out and buy. So I was afraid there was some strange thing inside my chocolate covered cherries. But no, in fact, it's actually a Dietz's chocolate covered cherry, which are really quite good. But the Sellas, I like the, the inside of the Sellas cherry better than the Dietz's cherry. They're both really, really good. This is very, very rich. You eat one of these and I think you're good for about a week for a chocolate fix. But the Sellas are a really, really good cherry and I really like the, the liquid center of those. So no, there's nothing wrong with the Sellas. There's something wrong with my wife. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching the video. I will see you next time. Take care.